Today on the Wonderful World of Lou, we will be interviewing people from the wonderful Empress of the North cruise ship in Alaska. We will be interviewing first Casey Kilroy, the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful singer slash female entertainer. Then, after that, we will be interviewing Aaron Dennis, the official drink mixer on board the beautiful boat. And last, but certainly not least, will be Frank Chase, the wonderful pianist slash comedian. Have a nice day in YouTube. <laughs> the wonderful world of Lou, the wonderful world of Lou, a wonderful time for me and you. The wonderful world of Lou, the wonderful world of Lou, a wonderful time for me and you. Welcome to the Lou Show. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. What's your name? My name's Casey, like Casey at the back, and Kilroy, like Kilroy was here. <laughs> and I'm the assistant cruise director slash female entertainer on board this beautiful Empress of the North. How long have you been singing? Oh, let's see, a long time. Probably since before I was born. No, I've probably been singing for about 12 years. So a long time. And I have another question. Okay, I'm There's ready. More. Bring it on. Um, did you ever take lessons or did you just, did it come naturally? Actually, when I first started singing, I was pretty bad. <laughs> and I started taking voice lessons when I was 15. Cool. Yeah. Um, what kind of music do you like? I like musical theater. So, not too many people like musical theater. Unless you sing musical theater. So... I'm kind of weird that way. And I have all my stage makeup on today, so I didn't take it off yet. I like that. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. You have to wear, when you work on stage, you have to wear um, what they call white underneath your eyebrows, and then usually you're two different colors of eyeshadow, an eyeliner all the way around your eyes, thick mascara, pink blush on your cheekbones, and usually a red lipstick is what? a standard stage makeup. Why do you have to wear all that? Well, because when you're under the really bright lights, it washes the color of your face out. So the, the eyeliner helps bring out your eyes, and the white is actually a highlighter, and the cheeks are so your, your cheeks are nice and rosy, and yeah, just like that. Thanks for coming to the Hey, it was so much fun. I'm glad to be here. I'm doing great. What's your name? My name is Aaron Dennis. And what do you do here? I am the bartender here on the Empress of the North. That's a very interesting job. Yes, it is. Which leads me up to my first question. Have you had any very unusual experiences working at this job? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, I can name you one. Uh, we had a gentleman last year who had a few to drink, and Frank and myself helped the gentleman uh, to his bed. Uh, we were good Samaritans. He had had a few too many. Uh, he preferred the Chardonnay um, and preferred it too well. And But he was uh, very appreciative of uh, us assisting him. I don't know if Frank remembers that. We'll, we'll ask him some other time. I was wondering, how do you say your name? Because there are many different names. Okay, uh, A-A-R-O-N. Not to be confused with E R. I end, which a friend of mine has that, but he's a football player, so no one ever gave him a hard time. Have you ever been in prison? No. <laughs> Wait a minute, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Overnight, yes. In college. For what? Um, drinking and driving. Oh. Now, I learned from my mistakes, and I hope, as, as all people do, that's how... Uh, I think one matures in life is to uh, sometimes do things that uh, you would normally do, and you learn from those those things, and hopefully don't do them ever again. And with that, I will wrap up because that is a wonderful life lesson. I appreciate that. Thank you that. for coming to the new show. Well, thank you for having me on your show. This has been a lot of fun. My favorite kind of music. 
There, oh, there's many kinds. I, I like almost everything except Barry Manlow. <laughs> Favorite my favorite musician? Well, it's not Barry Manilow. <laughs> uh, my favorite musician of all time, I had actually quite a few, but I think Mr. Fats Waller was one of my favorites. And um, probably Art Tatum, he was a jazz pianist I liked very much. And there was a guy in Australia named Pahuhula Zimbabahahalaha. And he played the didgeridoo. Row, row, row. He was beautiful. That's what probably my didgeridoo? didgeridoo is a long hollowed out piece of wood that makes a very low sound. It's an Australian instrument. Like that. And how did it get its name? The didgeridoo? Yeah. Uh, there was a native named Didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> And he do play the didgeridoo. That's how it, I, it started. He was an Aborigine named Didgeridoo. And what is your favorite house of ill repute in New Orleans? Oh, well, they shut it down, but it was Lucky Pierre's. I played piano there, that's why I, I liked it so much. Which leads up to my last question. Will you play a song? Yes. Wonderful world of Lou, a wonderful time for me and you. It's the wonderful world of Lou, the wonderful world of Lou, a wonderful time for me and you. All the others are just poo. <laughs> Thank you, Casey, for coming on our show. I hope you have a wonderful singing career in your future. And again, thanks so much. Thank you for your honesty on the show, Aaron, and I'm really glad that you learned from your mistakes. Thanks for coming on the show, Frank. I don't know what a house of ill repute is, but I'm sorry it closed down. Bye. The wonderful world of Lou, the wonderful world of Lou, a wonderful time for me and you. And if you don't like it, you smell like Lou. What? I was gonna say goo. The wonderful world of Lou.